I came from? I don't know for sure. You don't, you don't know? Well, you know what I do know? I know that we needed a new puppet friend and for Kid Zone, and I ordered you, and you arrived, and we were so excited. Really? Yep. You were made especially for our Kid Zone. You are one of a kind. Wow, that's pretty cool. I chose your name, and I chose your outfit. <sighs> Thanks for that. <laughs> well, even your sarcastic personality. All so you could be just what we needed. Just what you needed? <laughs> sure. You serve a very, very special purpose here at Family of Christ Kids Zone. There are many, many puppets out there, but only one Jenna. Wow, that's just super. It feels amazing to be made for a special purpose. And just as I designed you a very special puppet for a very special role here at Kid Zone, God has created every child here uniquely for a very special role in this world. What does uniquely mean? Don't go using big words around little people <laughs> like me. <laughs> well, sorry. Unique means one of a kind. God has a one-of-a-kind plan for every single child. But in order to see God's plan come to pass, each child must choose to want to follow God's path and God's plan. Yeah, kids aren't puppets. They have a choice to obey, unlike some of us. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Kids are not puppets. God doesn't make them do anything. He says, I want you to come along my adventure that I have for your lives. Bye. Bye. We'll see you next time, Jenna. Bye. Did you know that builders cannot build a house without a plan? That's right. They have to take their plans to a supervisor to make sure that everything is just the way it was supposed to be that everything is measured correctly and shows the plan perfectly. If you have one wall that is too short, the whole thing could fall down. If you forget to put in a door, you can't get in to your building. You can't just have a group of workers just doing their own thing. They have to follow the builder's plan. Your life is just like a beautiful, beautiful house. And God is the builder. He says in the book of Jeremiah that he has a plan for you. He says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And that's from Jeremiah 29, 11. Friends, I have a map here today. Let's take a look at it. Look at this. This is a one-of-a-kind plan that God makes for each and every one of us. Do you see this X? That is what God has planned for us, and that is where God wants to lead us. You know, let's look at some things on our map. We have some things where we go to church and worship Jesus. We have the, our baptism day. We have the gift of the Bible that God gives us. And we also have a special time when you get a little older where you are going to be confirmed and you confirm your faith in Jesus. But you know what, friends? Because of sin, Sometimes we don't follow the path that God exactly has planned for us. Sometimes we can hurt other people's hearts. Sometimes we don't follow God and we don't follow what he wants us to do. And that is our sin. God will lead us to the good end that he has for us on some paths. 
There will be obstacles in them. But God gives us that free will that we talked about, and there are times that we don't follow the path that God has planned for us. God's plan is the very best plan for us. But he knows that sometimes we would mess up and that God has a plan for us. Because he says we could always come back to him and that he was always there for us. Therefore, he gives us hope by letting us know that we could always turn back to him and that he is always there for us no matter what. Because God loved us so much, he sent his son Jesus to earth to take away our sins, to take those sins to the cross. We know that Jesus is stronger than sin and death, and that through his resurrection, we know that our sins are forgiven. When I look back on my life, I see the many, many ways that God has sculpted me and guided me. There are times where things didn't go the way I had planned, but God was always with me in the happy times and in the sad times in my life. I know that God has a plan for me, and he has an amazing plan for you. I can't wait to see how God will use you to do extraordinary things in our world. Will you pray with me? Our hands we fold. Our heads be back. It's time to talk to God right now. Will you be my echo? Dear Jesus, thank you for being our great designer. For loving us and guiding us through life's journey. Thank you for, for being there for us in good times and in bad times. We love you. And all God's children said, amen. And the devil said, bummer, dude. And we all say, yay, God. Thanks for joining us today.